Okay, hi guys, welcome to uh, the second part of our multi MC spotlights. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to break things. Uh, actually, no, what we're going to do is we're going to be installing some mods just so you can see the process that that I go through. There are various different ways that you can uh, install your mods or resolve any ID conflicts and things that you may come across. But this is uh, tends to be the way that I do it, so take that as as you will. Um, you may find better results doing it a different way. Um, okay, now what I've done is uh, I've added in some uh, some mods into our central mods folder, and I've not put too many in there. But what I've done is I've put in like the the big mods the ones that people are likely to want and hopefully we will get some uh, some ID conflicts so that um, you can see how I resolve them. Right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new instance and we're going to call this uh, our modded, it's going to be using 1.4.5 uh, so let's run that first of all this is where I need to remember my password again um, there we go, so we'll, while that's running we'll have a look at what we've got. Now I do have versions of Forge here that I will want to use and the reason I want to use this one is because I, I know it works with the mod downloads that I've got. Uh, so there we go, there's our there's our clean 145, nothing in it as it is. Right, we'll quit that. So uh, now if we were to view the folder here, just to show you guys that I'm not cheating, uh, we have uh, no configs at all. Just no configs, no mods, well there is a mods folder. Uh, nothing in there though. Completely clean. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the mods and the very first place you should start is you add in your forge. Now you can use that forge button. In fact, let's do that just to show you guys using that button again. And that's 4.1.435. So let's grab that one. Thank you. That's going to download. Give us our, our forge in there. Now the next thing that you want to do as well. That is you want to add in NEI. Now NEI is very important. Uh, so to do that we add in code chicken core and not enough items into the core mods folder. So we have forge in the in the jar and those two in the core folder. Now what we can also do while we're here just to show you where Optifine goes. I have an old version of Optifine uh, in there like so, that goes again in the jar. So we've got Forge and Optifine in the jar and Code Chicken Core and NEI in Core Mods. Now let's rebuild that instance just to apply the changes that we made to the, the jar mods and we'll launch that and hopefully we're not going to get any problems. Uh, actually let me save me making any mistakes on stream or not on stream in the recording we'll get that to save our, our stuff. Now you can see the console spam here and that is loaded up fine um, we can see we've got five mods loaded we have Optifine, we've got Forge 435 and we've also got Code Chicken Core and NEI uh, so if we go into a world any old world we should find that we can use any eye in game and that is going to be uh, very important and yeah, it's telling me there's a new version of Optifine but there we go so we've got we've got our NEI available and that's going to be very very important soon okay the next bit uh, the next stage we're going to look at is probably where some people are going to go <gasps> why are you doing like that and 
that's because rather than add one mod at a time what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these mods that we'd like to add um, on the left hand side here there you go we're going to grab all of them and we're just going to drop them into the mods folder like so now this um, should crash should crash when we load this and that's exactly what we want um, well it would be nice if it loaded up straight away but I'm pretty sure this is going to crash and when it does crash we'll show you how we resolve it it may well be that these mods are now going to work fine and it kind of looks like they are there you go they've worked fine forge is actually doing a very very good job of resolving conflicts um, so there we go that's let's uh, create a new world I was really quite hoping that we were going to get some ID conflicts we might actually have some item ID conflicts um, there we go we've got some new version of forestry um, telling us there and we should have in any eye we've got 31 pages we've got all of the fun railcraft stuff thorncraft industrial craft it's all working fantastic now what we uh, what we do need to, to check as part of uh, part of that process if we go to the view folder now unfortunately we didn't get any conflict so if we have a look at this um, this is the log file the forge mod loader client zero log now if we have any item ID conflicts they would show up in here and we haven't actually got any which is fantastic so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a mod quickly that I know has problems uh, let's see if we can find one that I know is going to cause us at least a, a an ID conflict uh, so let's get the edit mods going and I think let's have a look one of the instances that I'm using at the moment we should have a pet bat always gives me an item of conflict portal gun might do yeah that's that should should give us a conflict fingers crossed that's going to give us a conflict because it's a bit pointless me doing this if we're not going to get any conflicts so let's have a look shall we I mean, to, to be fair the mod authors are doing a great job by uh, by organizing their their block uh, IDs so that we don't get uh, too many conflicts when you're installing mods and that's loaded up fine what we're going to do though is we're going to check this um, client log again for conflict because there we go and we've got a conflict on pet bats now the game did load up actually that's uh, yeah this pet bats conflicting with these carts now the game did load up but what you would find in game is that th these two items in particular would um, be confused so you may find that you break your Steve's cart and you get a pet bat um, and that's because you've got two different items that are sharing the same item ID now what's an item ID? well an item ID is a lot like a block ID except um, the game will load if they conflict <clears throat> so uh, let's have a look about how we're going to uh, resolve that 
now and by resolving this item ID conflict it's actually very similar to the way that we'll resolve uh, a block ID conflict as well so let's load up the game and we'll get back into that uh, into that world because what we need is uh, to actually get into NEI again because NEI is what is going to help us here and that is why we install NEI first so let's uh, let's get this up full so we can see what's going on jump into our new world and I have a feeling the sound is going to be extremely loud here so let's uh, just get the sound down the music off there we go um, and what we'll do is we'll go into options on NEI and block item ID settings and we want to dump the block IDs, we want to dump the item IDs as well and we want to dump the unused item IDs as well as the unused block IDs and then we want to dump the ID map now and when we hit this button you'll see there it said it's dumped the ID map and it gives you the file name so let's quit out of here and inside our folder now we should find this ID map dump uh, so if we edit that what you'll find is every single uh, block is listed here and it tells you the unused blocks as well so if you've got unused uh, if you've got block conflicts uh, you can use this to figure out where your spaces are and where you can allocate different things uh, as you can see we've got lots and lots of space in our block IDs and what I would do is if you get a conflict with a mod uh, instead of just changing the one block that's conflicting just change them all and just find a space that's big enough like this and just move the, mo the whole mods block IDs into that space and that way they're all going to show up in the same place on any eye as well and you should solve any and all block ID conflicts with that mod uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to go down and it was 31,000 and something uh, we had the pet bats conflict in um, so actually what we should do first of all uh, we should go and have a look in our configs and it's pet bats that's causing us a problem so if we have a look in there we can see that we've only got one uh, item ID being used and that's 31743 so looking at our ID dump uh, that is probably set to something else and I think actually what we'll find is that um, Forge will add 256 onto your um, item IDs and what we have here is is that is 256 there it is there so that is getting in the way of one of the Steve's carts ones so we can resolve that by just reducing it by we could reduce it by three or we could just say we've got all this space here let's find a space further up uh, that's not going to cause a problem so if we wanted to make it 31512 we would actually set in the config to 31256 because there is an offset so save that like that and then we shouldn't have a problem with, uh, with pet bats conflicting with Steve's carts anymore Unfortunately, we don't get any uh, any crashes, but really, uh, when people tell you, and they quite often will, that modding Minecraft is really, really easy now, um, MultiMC does make it really, really easy, and the fact that the mod developers are working together now to, certainly for the ma major mods, to separate out their block IDs, um, that does help as well okay so we loaded up the game again there let's 
Bring up our client log and search for conflict again. And as you can see, we've got rid of the conflict. So we're no longer going to have problems with pet bats and Steve's carts interacting together. And it's quite important to check this client log once you've installed because those item ID conflicts can quite often just fly under the radar because Minecraft does work even though you have item conflicts. Um, the block conflicts are a little bit more obvious and they're a little bit more in your face. They uh, they will crash Minecraft, uh, which unfortunately we didn't manage to get. I really should have found some, uh, some mods that were going to do that. And I thought I had found some, but unfortunately not. But that is how you would resolve uh, an ID conflict. And as I said before, it does work the same way. So if your blocks are conflicting, you would go the same way. The difference with a block ID conflict is you would actually have to remove uh, the mod that you're going to fix uh, until you get no crashes. Then you can get into NEI, do your item dump, find a space for it, uh, and then change the config. And you would change all the item IDs in one go. Uh, so there we go guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, it's not really something that is that difficult to do once you've done it a few times. So with any luck this will uh, put you well on your way to modding your own games now. Uh, very very worthwhile doing because you can keep up to date with all the different updates that the mod authors make and they do update very very frequently. So. Uh, have fun with MultiMC and uh, hopefully you'll be a bit more confident self-modding if you were struggling before. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.